Today we are starting off with a demo layout, featuring a Como robot, two end effectors, tooling and a part rack. Electrical connections need to be created between the S840D controller and all components we need to either send signals to or receive signals from. First we connect the robot itself. Take a look how the joints are immediately connected to the controller. Then we snap the adapter plate to the robot's mount face. The adapters in and out ports are mapped automatically as well. The two end effectors are the last components to be connected. Now we create a sub-program to pick up the gripper. We teach in the pickup location first. Then we add an approach at 200 mm followed by a retract position at 600 mm. After adjusting the motion type, we are going to add a set resource port event to send a lock signal to the adapter plate, followed by a wait for resource port event to wait for the locking to be finished. A quick simulation completes the sub-program. Next in line is the Get Part sub-program. We taught the positions already. We confirm the motion by simulating quickly. Now we add all the required port events to pick up the part from the rack and drop it off at the tooling location. Note that we don't have to worry about the signal names or numbers on the S840D controller side. Fast Suite E2 handles this automatically in the background. After getting the part from the rack to the tooling, we create a sub-program to pick up the part from the tooling and drop it off at the rack. We also create a few more sub-programs such as Get Spindle to pick up the routing spindle Panel Contour to perform the actual routing and Drop Spindle to drop off the spindle at the tool stand. Now it's time to compose our main program. For that, we drag and drop the sub-programs in the desired sequence. A final simulation of the main program is done, still using our own internal simulation engine. Downloading all programs at once only takes a few seconds. Our programs address the correct I.O. numbers without any hand editing. A separate program to select the correct tool frame is also created. For the final step of this presentation we are switching the simulation mode from internal to VNCK based. The user interface displays how VNCK processes the programs line by line while FastSuite E2 shows the simulation result. Enjoy the show!